Moving on, the Tennessee Volunteers, Josh Heupel, another first-year head coach. And I don't know what to make of this team. I mean, they lost a ton of guys to the transfer portal after last season. This is a total offensive scheme change under Heupel. Uh, this is the least talented Vols team in, I mean, since Butch Jones was there, for sure. Yes. Uh, honestly, maybe before Butch Jones. It might have been when, uh, what's the the guy that was the Louisiana Tech coach? Uh, Dooley? Dooley, thank you. Uh I mean, it, they lost all of their studs, all of them, and they did they bring in transfers. Word stud pretty loosely. <laughs> they lost their best players. They lost their best players. Yes, quarterback Hendon Hooker transfers in from Virginia Tech. Joe Milton transfers in from Michigan. They've also got Harrison Bailey, who we think could be the future. He's the one that played the best in uh, in the spring game. Brian Mara is still there. Should make a uh, fun you know quarterback battle, I guess. the The offense. I think is going to find ways to score because Heupel always has, right? I think I can trust that side of the ball. The talent drain on defense, I mean, this is going to be this is going to be a bottom 20 unit in the country. Uh, like, regardless of what the defense coordinator, Tim Banks, does here. Like, he's he's shifting them from a 3-4 to a 4-2-5. That's right. And I think that's a lot to fit the personnel that's left. I would agree with that. But their win total is six. Yeah. And to go over is plus 100. To go under is minus 130. And but I, I mean, it's six because they've they've got four gimme wins on this team. Yeah. So they yeah. you're asking them to win two games. I don't know that I don't know that some of those are gimme wins. Like at Vanderbilt to gimme, maybe, maybe. I don't know what we're having a different conversation do. then. Bowling Green is Tennessee Tech is South Alabama is not. Yeah, South Alabama. Okay, gimme. so they got four gimme wins. So four we're gimmies. asking them to win two games, and we just talked about how they're in this hodgepodge with Kentucky, South Carolina, and Kentucky, South Carolina, Missouri, and Missouri. And and can they win two of those games or upset somebody because Hypel shows up and does something? But weird. at that point, you gotta you gotta get them to win two just to get to six. True. Can they win three of them? That's right. I don't know. I don't think they can. I've got to go under the six. Okay, I'd go. I'd go over, but just, I mean, I don't. I don't have a lot of faith in it. I'm making a pick. Well, yeah, I like Hypo. I think this offense is going to be significantly better than anything they've been in the last decade. That makes sense. I think they can score, and if you score and you catch somebody sleeping, you can win. You can yes. win a game you're not supposed to win if you can put up points. Yeah. If if you think that they can get to six. And they're possibly going to get to seven. I mean, you get plus one hundred to go over the six. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm giving up one thirty. Yeah. So that is the way it goes. We- Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and any at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.